just like that. Just with me in the chat, the voice chat on my own, and Lyle just displaying this. I mean, I'm not even sure that is Lyle. I think that's just a rock in the middle of, of a pond. I'm waiting for him to join me in the voice chat and realize that I am already streaming. Look at that glorious scalp. I love that little spot of light at the top of it. That, that just lovely reflection. And then there's like a couple of little bits and pieces of hair sprinkled around it. It's truly, truly something to behold. Better let him know we're here. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. I, I just, just moved the camera. I moved it? No, I, I did. I was like, let's just crop it so it fits. I mean, okay, no, you, you get it to where you want, and then I'll crop around you. That's right. That's good. You're comfortable? Sure. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Whatever works. How's it going? Yeah, good, man. Good. Um, yeah, this time was working out much better for you. You seemed like much more awake. Oh, good. You messaged me earlier, so. Yeah, um, it's 11 a.m. now. The time now. change, you said, right? So. Yeah, 11 a.m. for me. Well, I'd hope you're awake by 11. Oh, look. <laughs> it's touch and go. I have I have kept DeFi waiting before for 11 a.m. record times. Just completely oh, set geez. through my alarm. Luckily, her schedule is flexible, I guess. Yeah, she is one of the most flexible people I know. She she doesn't have much else going on, so. Whoa, take it easy there. <laughs> um, you know, I was, you know, I was being sarcastic, right? She's incredibly, incredibly busy. Like, I don't know what she does, uh, so I'm not sure like what she everything. does for her job. Everything. She's but... uh, she's like, uh, apart I know from she's been doing some of the show casting and stuff or whatever, right? So. That's a um, very, very uh, minimalistic way of saying it. Well, for the for the regionals and stuff. Yeah, like yeah she's been doing like she's the... been talking about Pokemon fights, right? Yep. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely playing with the Pokemons, the mm -hmm. Pokemon. That's that's on exactly. like the the game station, right? Yeah. Nintendo, uh, yeah, Nintendo Game Boy. The Nintendo. Sure, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, yeah. You can you can tell how old a person like every old person I have ever known when they refer to a PlayStation, they call it a Game Station. Do they? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's just an Australian thing. Maybe, or maybe it's like a, a specifically Italian Australian thing. Could be. Have you done any more battles today? I just did two sets. I went two four or two three both times. Mm. Um, oh getting some very interesting teams. Yeah. These people are leading. Uh, like a couple times it was like Mamo Swine lead, and the one other time was a um, Magnazone lead, and then they and then I safe swap Machamp, and they bring out a Togekiss. I'm just like, okay, well, <laughs> then you have no win cons against literally like Exutra lead or Metagross lead. You just like lose. It's, it's GG's. 
Like you leave yeah. Mammoth Swine yeah. into Metagross and you yeah. have a Togekiss in the back. Like when I swap yeah. my champ, I'm not thinking like there's gonna be a Togekiss yeah. there. I'm yeah. thinking like there could be like a Dragonite or some, you know, like something like that. Um, which is fine. Like if they bring a Dragonite or a or a a Gyarados or something out, like that's fine. Mm. Um, but if they bring a Togekiss out, it's like almost GG's. Mm -hmm. So you got to assume that they're thinking of something like maybe they're thinking like there's no one ever leads that what what did you say the problem was the um if someone leads extra uh, drill, extra drill nobody yeah. leads extra drill okay that's that's nobody leads metagross hello okay, okay. i guess not no you're right oh they probably haven't seen a bunch of, like we're in their battles they probably haven't seen any extra drill leads they've probably always seen them in the in the switch or or the metagross in the switch yes i hope for them I always try and think of it. I always try and think of it from their point of view. Like, what are they thinking? Like, they, they don't just make decisions they're thinking, because they're, they're thinking stupid. that the that they're thinking that the team works well as long as they don't see the one thing they don't want to see in the lead. Which right? I guess I guess that's not a bad way of thinking about it. Like, it's uh, a lot of. Um... But then you just lose if you see that three times in a row in the lead. You just lose three games in a row, and there's nothing you can do, right? But then if you, you basically... don't, you've got a, a much better chance. Like, I, I would take those odds. If, like, if I found a team that um, it can just smash everything else except uh, this one thing that smashes me, and I only see that, like, if I could safely say I, I see that 2% of the time, then I would happily take those like odds. Extra drill leads are more than common than 2% of the time. But... I'm, I'm making a point. Just yeah, yeah. I'm, I just don't like to have teams where you have uh, zero win cons against certain, mm. like a lead or something. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Although my team has zero win cons, I I saw a Shadow Walrun and I top left it. But that was the only time I've ever seen a Walrun. I've seen one yeah. Walrun in in Master League Premier Classic. Yeah, I was, so it's I was not, considering like, it's it. Very common. The Shadow one is scary. The regular one, um it's actually not horrible for togekiss because you can survive an icicle spear shield once and get to like an ancient power to force a shield okay but the shadow one like no so i good. mean you're still you're still coming off second best even against the um the regular yeah the regular is a little underwhelming just because it doesn't hit very like it's moves it kind of lacks some damage that mm. some of the other master league yeah. mons can dish out you know yeah. Um, like Metagross, um, Excadrill, Garchomp, yeah. even Machamp, things like that, where it's like, you, you need to respect their charge moves. Unless you're like a Dragonite or something, you don't really need to be scared of like an Icicle Spear. Yeah. So. Totally. There's no, sh no shield pressure. Yeah, it's very limited. Yeah. W where it is good is against like, like dra the certain dragons and also, um, like waterfall gyarados does pretty well against against like that so you say uh, the the waterfall, the waterfall gyarados does well against the warring or the warring does well against the the Walrin does well yeah, that makes against sense. waterfall gyarados mm -hmm. yep um all right so evolution cup <laughs> um now the vigoroth cup yeah the vigoroth cup uh the vigoroth and what you're going to do about it cup <laughs> the Vigoroth Double Dragon Cup. Is that it? Is that the end of the stream? Are we done? That seems like from from what I've the people I've talked to. Yeah. That seems like the first team that everyone's always coming up with. Okay. Like so... Vigoroth, Vigoroth Dragonair, plus like maybe Hakamo. I've heard people even mention Zwilus. Uh huh. Like I think Dr Hakamo Vigoroth, it like is a little tough just because you can get. Like kind of core broken by um, Golbat, but I yes. guess like the vigor of Golbat isn't like horrible because they can't really shadow ball you, so there's not really any like one shot yeah, pressure. Yeah. It's more of just like this the chip game, a but like cuts. But you can like probably like body slam a couple times, and then after they poison fanged a couple times, just switch out of there, right? Yeah. So I mean. Uh, that I mean, they're they're obviously you're obviously switch locking yourself against whatever they might have in the back, so you got to make sure that it's a, a safe matchup. 
I do like gold out a lot though because yeah. I was basically looking at things that could like beat Figaroth pretty handily mm. and also did pretty well against the rest of the like decently well against the rest of the meta. Um Golbat looks pretty good. Um yeah. uh, Sludge Bomb and... Haunter. Uh maybe. So question from Master League. Okay, well, maybe. Maybe we'll answer. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe we'll answer. We'll see. Haunter? I'm not sure. Yeah, Haunter could be interesting. The thing about Haunter is, like, especially now with Ice Punch, it mm. could, you, you know, it's kind of, it's almost like a Mew type thing where it's, like, you might just shield because you don't know what the hell it's going to throw at you. Like, and is you it know a Shadow what? Ball? Is it a Sludge Bomb? Is it an Ice Punch? Is it a shadow punch? You know, like could be anything. And that—that's actually like I had not even considered ice punch. That with so many dragons around, I think that's a very good. I mean, so many dragons. Like I don't know how deep the dragons go here, but the, I mean, I there's not really... a ton of dragons, but the dragons are like top meta. Like yeah, you know. I mean, I I'm digging that idea of ice punch, but then you could have well, like dust Dustbots also has yeah, which is bulkier, but it also um, it also it has hex which is like kind of worse so it gets to the ice punches quicker so you just and you like know. against Golbat, you would have you would like double resist the poison thing mm. so um the shadow does claps yeah i like shadow does claps because uh it's sort of like it's sort of a kind of like walrin and stuff where the regular one doesn't really have a lot of shield pressure mm-hmm Whereas the shadow one definitely like it it you're definitely like a little more scared. Um, uh, some people run like return on the on like a purified dust club so too. So there is some play that way as well. And I, I like the return. I think um, shadow punch. I don't know is getting you too much against uh, except against maybe like a another haunter or another dust clops, something like that. It's nice. It's nice against just like even the. It is a little bit lower energy than uh, the ice punch. Mm. No shadow so, punch and ice punch are the same. Is it? Oh, They're okay. both forty. Never mind yeah. then. I, f- I thought it was less energy, but that's fine. Um, yeah. So I guess then it doesn't really pick it. You could run. I guess. You could run double punches because it doesn't have yeah. like fire punch too. It does. I don't know what. Else. So, but then what's fire punch getting you? Um. Well, it would help you against uh, things that resist ice, such as like Celio and stuff. But I guess that's what you have the shadow, shadow punch, punch for. for. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure if if one is better. Maybe shadow punch is better because it's stab. Let me check the. Fire Punch is better, Damage. actually, against Celio. Is it? No, Shadow Punch is 35 energy, dude. What are you talking about? It takes... No. Come on, man. It takes five yeah. Shadow Claws. Five, four. Every five, time. Five, four, five. For the Haunter? Nope. Really? For Gengar and Haunter, it's five, four. Get out of here. Two... Yep. See? I'm always right, chat. Don't listen to Fish. Come get, on. Get, it is lower. Get out of here. So. Maybe I was looking at the damage... Huh. It's the same. That had uh, to have been DPE. lowered. No, that's I, the way it always was. I cannot remember ever counting five four five four for a haunter. What about a Gengar? Or a Gengar. Maybe that's why they're like, shit, they're at another shadow punch already? They must have been I must have been lagging. I've never had that situation. Well, to be fair, they're not exactly the most common Pokemon no, to, be, no. to use. So, um, um, thoughts on Brion? I guess if you want a Charmer, I think it also has Water Gun, maybe. But there's a lot of dragons, so you probably don't want Water Gun. Um, oh, and those Charge I mean, moves aren't you, great. Oops. If you want a Charmer, like sure, but other than that, I don't think it's very good. Like, there's other ways to beat dragons, like Ice types, like yeah. Celio. I think just is a better does a better job than Brion. Actually, I don't like, think this is. Do you see that it lost to it lost to Vigoroth? So, what kind of fairy type loses to a counter user? It's just straight water. 
Oh, it is true. Okay. Because well, that makes sense. Then. Law is always right. Um, non stab charm is also amazing. That yeah. makes sense that at least the Vigoroth yeah. then. Yeah. <laughs> Helps it against the poison types a little bit, I guess. Um, you know? The meta doesn't seem particularly wide again. What's Where's that? Uh, where's that? fish line of like 80 80 and above so there's 43 pokemon above that fish line there's some decent ones down low there like shelgon could be could have some yeah shelgon could Nightmare. be right but then like if you're gonna um, use a dragon why use shelgon if you want a double dragon strat and you want something that's not weak to like flying or counter you can use shelgon as opposed to um or fracture the other ones uh, I think Shelgon has better, like, is a bit bulkier than Fracture. So, like, Fracture. 45, yeah. It's is like, be... it's got better moves, but it's. I think Shelgon has a better stat product. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Seven. It's much, much bulkier. So, you know, the moves aren't amazing. Kind of high energy, but, um, you know, it's a thought. Chansey, you could use Chansey too. Yeah, chargers are expensive, but you are, you do have that extra stat product. Like, I don't know if you've ever used um, Haxorus, but uh, Grass the um, Grass Hole could be viable. Uh, like I said, we we spent the first like five minutes talking about dragons. So, <laughs> um, and there's no Bastion on. There's only like Lair on. Which is not the same thing. <laughs> Lair so, on double lazily. Lazily? I'm pretty sure, like, Hakam OO would just, like, beat the whole team. Yeah. Like, it would. Um, so, not sure. Well, yeah, you could probably razor leap it down eventually, but I don't know about Grass Hole. Um, I have one team in mind, but it's kind of weak to Pillow Swine. So, as long as Pillow Swine's not super common, um, like, my. My first thought, so there's a couple of ways people looking at it. They're thinking like you can have like two, uh, like a, a Vigoroth, something weak to Vigoroth in the lead mm. and in like a soft and a hard counter for Vigoroth. So that's kind of the way I was planning my team, but maybe that's not, a, maybe I should just go for triple Vigoroth answers. Triple big counter. I mean, maybe that, that's a problem. Like everyone else might be thinking that too. <laughs> So okay, if you wanna if you wanna counter Vigoroth, obviously like everyone sure. we know knows that Vigoroth is just the the big kahuna of this meta. So how do you want to take it on? What are the what are the options? Machoke. Machoke. That would be your go to. I've actually got a rank one Machoke. It's um yeah, it's pretty I think it's pretty good. Um only thing is it only has fighting moves mm. and also uh cross chop is legacy. So, um, those are the downsides. The plus side is if you purify one, you can have one with return mm. for a little bit of coverage. If you, you know, if you don't want to get walled, you still get walled by ghost types. You do. Which isn't like amazing, but um, at least you have some coverage for like a gold bat or something. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if you need, you need to nuke it. So. And return is not elite TM rule, isn't it? Even on a purified nope. one. No, no, no. Once you TM away mm. return, you can't TM it back. And yeah. um, only way to get it is to purify a Pokemon. Mm. So Because that rank 1 Machoke I have, that is non-purified, obviously. Yeah. I, you would be hard-pressed to find... Uh, like You can find like decent ones that are purified. Mm. It's kind of similar to Sableye thing, right? Like They're always going to have at least like to attack unless you trade it. Because you mm -hmm. can do zero friendship trades. Yeah. Or... Uh, purified but i'm not sure if you want to waste like a special zero trades. friendship trade mm. on a machoke mm. um i think sableye would be probably a better one like if you could get like a zero 15 and 15 sableye that'd be pretty cool yeah. and especially since you're not actually guaranteed the zero so you, you might be doing like no, no, no. 16 trades looking for a zero attack machoke yeah or more so yeah but uh looks like at least look interesting one there number eight which is one that I kind of like. Look, Alolan look Grabler. what beats Vigorath, Vigorath, technically. Yeah, it's so bait dependent. Yeah, I was going to say that'd have to be bait dependent. But the thing is, 
is you like body slam does like hardly any damage right yeah and it doesn't so get to a body only... slam and a bull does right so you can either get shield advantage out of that matchup or ko if you get the bait right uh so then what if you just go straight um straight stone edge you most likely will get countered down it looks like um so if you go stone edge and they don't shield is what i'm thinking oh then you could probably shield and volt switch down yeah right yep so you're, right. you're guaranteed a shield or you can win that matchup and then you come out with like at least a rock blast right yeah so to throw at the next thing so it's not horrible no um uh, but then, uh, obviously, like, shields down, bulldoze one shots. I feel like Dragonair will be pretty popular too. So, like, and Dragonair would would beat that pretty comfortably. So I'm thinking like you've got Vigoroth, which is is winnable but not super comfortable, and then you got Dragonair as well. I'm thinking that's going to be like one and two most popular Pokemon. Yeah, which I think uh, it's probably closer than you think. Alolan Graveler Dragonic. kind of like, yeah, Alolan Graveler kind of makes the matchups close because it gets to the Stone Edge so quick and Stone Edge just does so much damage. Like, and you probably can survive an Aqua Tail, I'm going to guess. Okay. you So you don't get to, to, you don't get to a Stone Edge, do you? No. I mean, not after you bait with the Rock Blast. So that'd be an, uh, so probably another one where you can try and force the shield with the stone edge and just KO if they don't shield. Pardon? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, friggin uh, stupid uh, what's his face is messaging me. Sorry about that. Um Miami Doc. Oh, yeah, stupid Miami Doc. God damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, like, I think, like I said, it's not... It can be a little tough to use, but I think also, like, there's going to be a lot of uh, goal bat, goal bat and um, also a lot of, like, seal yo and things like that, too. Yeah, okay. So, so having the ability to have play against its counters and be able to, like, dominate other things that counter those... Could be kind of interesting right yeah that i'm i mean you're you're talking me around it didn't take much but you're talking me around to it Try my best. i have i have been saying quite a lot on the podcast that um that's kind of the next step with your team building after you sort out like typing uh, a synergy then you've got to work out you know what pokemon has play against its counters and you're right in that Alolan Grabbler does have some. Yes, it, it has some <laughs> decent uh, play. And I'm just checking the Sims really quick. Okay, okay. To see if I can... Okay, so what it is... Alolan Grabbler does lose CMP to Dragonair. Possibly. If you if you have a Swag Tips IV and they have a good uh, rank one, you could possibly win that. So bust out your high stat product, your low stat product, uh, gravelers, ladies and gentlemen. So high attack. I wonder if I've got it's because I've kept some uh, high attack Pokemon. Ones that we, ones with low stat products. I don't think I, I don't think I have any with. Okay, what's this one? Let's see. <laughs> Fletchender is interesting. Mm, yeah. I don't really like it, personally. Ember Flame Charge Aerial Ice. What's its What's its stat product? Mm, it's rank fifty six. Eighteen oh one stat product. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, it's a little. I think it's a little expensive. It's not XL, or is it XL? It is. How yeah. XL is it? Uh, so you can build it to level fifty. It's level 41 to level 50, so it has. Bro, so you can no, thank do. Thank you. No. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. I will, I will, like, like, honestly, like, I don't think it's. The, like, Ember is okay, right? Mm. 
and then it's charge moves are what? Aerial Ace Flame Charge? Yeah. So it's like a shittier Talon Flame, right? It has a worse fast move, and it has worse charge moves. Sure. Like, Flame Charge is not the good thing about Talon Flame. The good thing is the Flame Charge Brave Bird combo, right? So, like, I feel like Flame Charge Aerial Ace is just, like, not as good, you know? <laughs> but um, that's just my but, thought process. I mean, yeah, I agree. Nevertheless, I cannot wait for you to, to get bodied by a Fletchinder. Oh, it'll happen. <laughs> um, okay, it's Smiley has redeemed Dab. Which okay, means, you Lyle, you, you have to dab. Lyle specifically requested you. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a dab, that That's was just smelling your armpits. <laughs> That's it? That's all you get? I'm not freaking doing this. Uh, what else we got? Um, you've got your your grass poisons and your gloom and ivysaur. I mean, there is there is benefit to your razor leapers. I don't know about grass hole specifically, but like razor leaf, I think definitely has a a place here. Um, yeah, like they, you can like find a way for them to get in there for sure. But um, they always find a way. Yeah, they do, right? Um, I mean, in a if it ends up being a Golbat heavy meta, then that'll probably keep the the razor leafers down. Yeah, that's why I think like it's gonna be like a nice balance between the rock and ice types and then like the fighting types as well because um like Golbat kind of like handles a lot of the counters to mm. the to the rocks mm -hmm. stuff but then um they kind of have like a nice synergy right yeah. so um yeah. yeah we'll have to see exactly how it shakes out Nidorino rank Oh, that's oh. This is we're not looking this, at the top right. Yeah, we're looking way. at the Vigoroth counters. Nidorino Horn Attack. Okay, a Horn Attack is like really friggin' bad. Just just throwing that out there. It's like such a bad. It's move. basically like Stomp, isn't it? It's worse. Yeah, yeah. It's lower energy, lower damage. It's because I was looking at um it's Tauros. Like break. Tauros now has Tackle. Yeah. Probably something like, it's like I think it's like thirty five energy and does like 35 damage or something yeah cool um yeah it's pretty bad uh this is interesting dusclops is a loss against big in the ones yeah regular regular dust i think a shadow dusclops would would win really just because you get that extra damage on the punches yeah you're right wow yeah you need that extra, so that's like the benefit of the extra punch, because you're not getting any damage from the fast moves, right? No. So, um, the extra damage on the punches really helps there. Also, if you have return on the regular one, you could probably win that. Yeah. Because like you just land a return. Because um, <laughs> you just throw that. Yeah, you would just probably go straight return. Mm. Yes. Oh, smiley. Hello. What about return? Yeah, we're 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 talking about return now. Uh, yeah. You don't KO with the first one though. You got to get two. Yeah, because I mean, yeah. You... Wait, how much is how much damage does Ice Punch do? Do you actually need to throw two returns? Twenty-two percent. So and returns doing fifty-four percent. I think you do need to do two returns because the hexes are how only much doing one point four percent. What about at the end when they're throwing return? How much health do they have left? Just curious. Thirty-five, and the return so... is doing seventy-eight. An ice punch would do like... 33. Okay, so you can like throw an ice punch and then maybe hex down, but that might allow them to get to the extra bulldoze. It would be close, but if if you didn't have to throw two returns, that would be really nice. No, no, you can hex down, and then you come out with another yeah. ice punch as well. Yeah, I think sometimes the PV poke sims, are you gotta take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, like just in like do a little bit of uh, investigation yourself. Because sometimes they do do some strange things. Like, when I was looking yesterday at, like, the Star Raptor Sims, um, for Shadow Star Raptor for Master League, it was saying, like, you you lose, like, against Snorlax, it was saying, um, shield the first move, throw a Bave Bird right away, and then you get KO'd by the next body slam, and you lose the one shields. And I'm just like, 
This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> why why would you shield the first move? Why would you not build up the back to back close combats? And why are you throwing Brave Bird at all against the Snarlax? Like, Didn't um I thought that was a, a patch that um like the Kakuna Matata like reprogrammed it so that it would build up to two and would prefer to let the first move go, etc. I don't know, but maybe he needs to tinker with it because I did find a couple that were like a little funny too, yeah. like even the some certain like matchups in Primeval Cup that I was looking at. Um, it's like a it's like a good win for let's say Drudigan, but mm. if you actually look at the Sims, it's a lot closer than mm. you would expect because they're throwing like resisted moves even when they have the energy for the the neutral one. Yeah, so right. I don't know. Right. Yeah, there yeah. are a lot of matchups. So you have to take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, <laughs> he the thing is is like he's got I think he's almost a little more than he's bitten off more than he can chew almost at this point because Niantic's updating the cups so often. There's so many different matchups, right? Right. It's not as simple as just Great League, Ultra League, Master League anymore, right? So definitely tricky. Um, you got Floet in here twice, and that is a, a fairy Pokemon that's losing to Vigoroth. Charger Bug is one that I'm really interested in. I'm surprised that that loses, to be honest. I think with Spark you lose, but I'm pretty sure with Bug Bite you win. Really? Is my guess. Good guess. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Just because you're getting that consistent damage out, right? Mm. Um, which a lot because your your charge moves aren't exactly doing a lot, so you need like quite a few to 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 KO it. Yeah. Um, but if you have that bug bite damage, um, then you can get it easier into like discharge range, right? Yeah. And you are a bug type, so yeah, you would think you would be able to win that because like you're resisting counter damage, counter. and it is pretty. It's a very bulky Pokemon. Um, like you can see how much does a body slam do to charger bug 33% not bad considering like it is a bug type right mm -hmm. and bugs are not necessarily known for their their bulk. bulkiness um, yeah the only issue with bug bite is you would definitely have some much worse matchups like let's say the ghosts um, ghosts also uh, Golbat better against like Wireless. Better against Wireless, worse against um, like Hakamo and things like that, probably. Yeah. Because you, but I guess the moves that they're running here, you would get walled by Hakamo. Dragonair, you could crunch it. Um, Dragonair is probably better with Bug Bite than than Spark, right? Uh, you've got X Scissor as another move. Would you replace one of these moves with X Scissor? I don't think in this cup you would. Yeah. Because there's not really many psychic types. Um, I think Crunch is nice because, as we've seen, there's quite a few ghosts in in the top of the meta. Just want to see what happens to the Golbat matchup with Bug Bite. So Golbat wins that. Actually, with... pretty close. Yeah, it's though. close, yeah. So landing a discharge does a sixty percent to it. So if you've if you've chipped it with something else, like you can still. It, win that match. What happens if easy. we shield the sh the third poison, uh, fang. poison fang? And maybe that does too much damage. You, you might just get. Yeah, you got to shield the second. Okay. Yeah. They will just outpace you because bug bite is quite slow. Yeah, yeah, it is. Is the issue with it? Let's see, Magneton loses Brion, Marshtomp, Haunter loses in the ones. Uh, that is with, with Ice Punch, but Shadow Ball is the second move. Uh, Chansey. Chansey's a middle evolution. Chansey, great. Can't Ma wait. <laughs> Matang. Is it, so they're considering that middle evolution because it's, because there's an egg hatch? Yeah, yeah. So Pikachu would be middle evolution. I always evolution. thought like the... I always thought like the the egg hatch didn't count as like a first stage. Apparently, it was like a it's like a baby. Well, because don't they all hatch from eggs? Is isn't that canon? All the Pokemon hatch from eggs. I don't know. 
I'm not just, sure. Like, I'm not super familiar with, like, the main series. In in Go, obviously, you can only get certain Pokemon from eggs. So I, I'm guessing that's the same with the main series. How, like, Happiny and Pichu, you can only hatch. You can't catch it anyway. No, I'm sure, I'm sure playing Gen 2, you could catch a Pichu in the wild. I have no idea. I don't remember. Um, okay, so... There's your your Vigoroth matchups. <laughs> Sly is now interested in Chansey. Uh, I think he has a Chansey. So now looking at uh, Zwilas, obviously you're gonna crush all the dragons, and I'm gonna guess that that Haunter matchup is with Ice Punch as well. Uh, I don't know what they're recommending for Haunter, but um, like th you could you could easily take one Ice Punch, right? Yeah. It does. I mean, sixty percent damage. That's a fair it bit. It doesn't even get the. It doesn't get the two ice punches. No. You just farm it you down. Dragon so. breath down. You, you. Yeah. You don't even need a body slam there. That's what ice punch shadow ball. Interesting. Yeah. Then what about sludge bomb? Yeah, where is it? There. I was thinking, what about double punches? Like a. Uh, like a. Uh, ice punch shadow punch. punch. Yeah, like it's pretty attack weighted. Like those punches are gonna hurt, right? You don't have the nuke potential, but I mean, I mean, could be interesting. That's not gonna help against the Zwilus. If we bait with a, a punch, do we get to a ice punch or no? Uh, shadow punch. No. Nah. Still don't get there. I'll bring guess... my fighters. <laughs> That's against the Chansey. Um, mm. And I guess Sludge Bomb wouldn't help either, because unless you... Like, it th probably wouldn't even be doing as much damage as 66%, 60 yeah, no, you, you're way better off just going straight Ice Punch. Yeah, it's lower energy, right? Yeah. And it's super effective. It probably, it probably does, like, a shit ton to the Zwilus, so... Um, yeah, I think... <laughs> This wireless is interesting, but like the fact that Vigoroths can be so common um, could be like a detriment to it. If it is super common, let's say. Because mm. um, it is a dragon that it takes super effective from fighting, right? Because of the dark yeah. subtyping. Yeah. So, um, so then what if go so if ghosts turn out to be super popular, then that would probably make it worthwhile bringing, right? Yeah, that would, that's the benefit of it, right? Is that you, you're you better against the ghosts than the other... Because you're resisting mm. the fast moves, at least, than the other dragons. And Golbat um, as well. It does slightly better against Golbat because of the inability to nuke with the Shadow Ball. Yeah. GG's voice, okay. I don't know what that means, but... <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess leaving. it could. Um could do a bit better i think most of the dragons are okay against golbat just because they outpace it to the big move and and dragon breath is much better than uh wing attack uh and golbat is actually sorry shadow golbat is actually ranked a lot higher than regular here like that's a huge disparity 92.4 yeah. versus i don't mind this I don't mind the shadow or the regular though, because it's like kind of bulky. So, mm. um, but yeah, I don't have a shadow built. I don't think. Okay, so how how does it go against the dragon specifically? There's only three in the meta. Um, it is beating Dragonair and of course Hakama O being the fighting type. Yeah. But yeah, Zwilus is the only one of those three that beats it in the ones. Oh, actually, I think I got drunk one night and I built a shadow. So, uh, yeah, I do have a shadow. <laughs> awesome. I have two regular gold bats and one shadow. Ready to go. Nice. Bring all three. Yeah, triple, Tri triple, triple gold, gold bat, bat team. Make that some content. That's content. I wish I could. Wish I could. <laughs> Interesting beats. This is the shadow beats Dragonair, right? Maybe no, the Dragonair beats so, the Shadow. Oh, Dragonair beats the Shadow. Okay, yeah. that makes sense in my mind. Yeah. But Zwilus loses to it, see? 
This wireless is beating the Golbat. Wait, no. Yeah. I'm so confused. No, 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 no. This is... No, sorry. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah, so the... The Golbat's beating the Dragonair. The Shadow Golbat's yeah. beating the Dragonair. Golbat beats and... the Dragonair. But loses very closely to the... The Swallows. So I wonder if the regular Golbat beats Dragonair, though. Because it's just a little bulkier. And you can hang in there a bit more and get off more of those Poison Fangs. Still loses, it says. Looks kind of close. So... So it loses to Dragonair loses, now, yeah. and it loses worse to Zwilus. It barely beats Kamo O now, so... Yeah, I guess technically the Shadow is better. That's also the one shield, but... Yeah, should Shadow I, just hit a bit hard. Should I check I any other I, shield scenarios? I think it's fine. I think I battled... Who did I battle? Uh, past a Pokerichu, and he was using a Shadow Golbat. He farmed down something of mine, and he Shadow Balled my Graveler. Ooh. And it lived with like one HP and then really? he wing attack down. Wow. And I was just like, oh, son of a bitch. That's Shadow Golbat. Yeah. Wow. Because he safe swapped. What did he say? I think he safe swapped Dragonair. And I had. Uh... I had Hakamo O and Golbat back line. Or he, or he might have safe swapped the Hakamo. I don't know. I don't remember. But I just remember, I, like the switch clocks got desynced, and he took advantage of it. So, yeah. and it was uh, ended up coming back to bite me. So, that was just some practice I was doing. Uh, did I hear bite Golbat? Bite Golbat? Bite Golbat? No, huh? I don't think you want bite. Huh? What are you gonna be biting? Everything. You're gonna lose to Hakama. You're gonna lose to Hakama. Oh no. I mean, yeah, but it's bite, right? It's one of the best moves in the game. Sure. Just bite Zwilus then while you're at it. Just Does just Zwilus do no bite? bite? I'm going to guess it does. I know it's Big Brother knows bite, so. It does. Wow. There you go. All right. See, so that's why. Double it's so bite good. Team. You, did, you didn't even know it, it had it, right? Mm. Oh, and bite Knit Arena. Let's there go. You go. All right, so bite yeah. War Turtle. Now we're bite going. War Turtle. Let's go. Just nibbling your way through the meta. Um, we've got Nidorina and Nidorino. I'm actually kind of surprised mm -hmm. that uh, the Nidorino with Ice Beam is still ranked below Nidorina with Thunderbolt. I would have thought the Ice Beam with so many dragons and the flyers. I mean, well, Thunderbolt takes care of Golbat. Yeah, I would have thought Ice Beam Maybe would be just, more handy. It's probably just because of the Poison Fang versus Horn Attack. Really. Oh, uh, yeah, that'd be it. Like, Poison Fang is just so much better than Horn Attack. It's not mm. even, like, comparable, really, yeah. right? Like, yeah. Horn Attack is just awful. Because it does have Poison Jab, which is nice. I don't think Nidorina mm. has Poison Jab. It does it not. Just bite it has Bite, sting. though. Great. Yeah, you were using the little cup while well, you were using the baby one. But yeah, yeah. They, they like to give that family bite because Nidoqueen Queen also knows bite. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, you could you could use would it. Would you, you run Thunderbolt or would you run like Return with Poison Sting? I mean, if you have Return, I wouldn't TM it away. Yeah. Especially in this cup, there's not a there's not a a lot of steel types, so. I think return Poison Fang would be nice. Um, sludge, like Thunderbolt could be interesting too, mm. but so what do you, at what, least return you can hit the dragons with the nuke. What, what are you looking to hit apart from Golbat? With your Thunderbolt? With Thunderbolt? Uh, Celio? Yep, good one. Um, things like that. Uh, Marsh Top, no, you don't want that. Mm. Um, Pillow Swine, you don't, want, you don't want that there either. Um, looks like not a lot, yeah. other than Celio. Celio and God. And look at how close that is, in the ones. It's just because of, uh, Poison Sting. I bet you if it had Poison Jab, like, at least against Celio, it would be a lot better. 
even Golbat probably, because any sort of fast move pressure is better than mm -hmm. like Poison Sting. It just doesn't. You have no ability to to like farm, especially if it's resisted. It's like horrible, right? Mm -hmm. You're not doing anything. Uh, somehow manages to beat Fletchinder. Because Fletchinder is trash. Mm -hmm. It it will outpace it like severely. Poison yeah. Sting versus Ember. And yeah. it's decently bulky, so um, like you're probably at like one and a half Thunderbolts by the time they get that Flame Charge. So I'm not liking the Nidos. All, all things said. Uh, it's okay. I think you could definitely make it work. No. Um, I mean, if you want electric damage, then you've got Graveler. And if you want poison so you're damage, telling you've got me I should Colbat. start walking my Nido Reno. Okay, got it. <laughs> I have a Hundo Purified. Only I because you're such a big fan of Bite. Yes, I do like the bite things. And very expensive as well, yeah. It's a lot of investment for not much payoff. Mine's only mine only needs another three hundred and fifty thousand stardust to power up. Is that all? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's kinda cool. It's cool, yeah. I <laughs> That, that's all that's got going for it is it's it's ranked coolness. pretty high like there's got to be something going for it right yeah. like there's a lot of counter users you do have the poison typing which is nice and you the positive thing about it is you um the positive thing is that you uh are not taking super effective damage from ice hmm. like uh golbat or or electric so there is some pros and cons for sure so then we've got uh, Machoke, which we have mentioned. The Shadow and the regular are right next to each other, 94.4 and 95.3. I mean, that's a reasonable jump as well. The um, Shadow is scary, dude. Yeah. Scary. Yeah, I got, landing that dynamic I punch. got cross shot baited by Pasta in the yeah. game, and he friggin' dynamic punched my Hakamo, and holy shit. <laughs> it did so much damage. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to shield this. And then I'm like, he's not out of dynamic punch, right? And then like, cro he's just like cross chopping away. Or karate chopping away. And then dynamic punch literally did like 65. It felt like 65, 70% to yeah. my Hakamo. So, um, yeah, it's no joke. It's the Machamp family, right? They hit hard. It's a little, it's not the like, it's a little bulkier than Machamp. Um, but it's still not like bulky necessarily. Like what's the stat product? Seventeen fifties. So like which is like prevenance. respectable. Yeah, it's respectable, right? Yeah. Especially if you're a fighter, it's not horrible. Um, but so this again, is if you the... don't have the purified with the return. Um, you're losing. Typically, the return yeah. loses more matchups. I think a few more matchups. Right. But I think like in general, it's safer. So it just depends what you want to do. You're basically you're losing against everything you expect to lose to here. Uh, yeah, actually, no, you're beating right. Charger Bug. Oh, okay. Yeah, with with Spark. Yeah, okay. Charger Bug. That's interesting. I guess Discharge is just kind of weak. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it must be. Yeah. Um, this is Shadow we're looking at, or regular? This is the regular. Um, Athena's had good play with shadow machoke in practice yeah shadow machoke i think it's like i don't know if you're not running the return machoke i think you would probably want the shadow um just because of that extra damage you get and like it's just like shield pressure is insane um like it claps vigoroth hard yeah, uh, but nice. I think I think with so many gold bat around, I don't know how well it's gonna actually do in the actual GBL environment. Well, we don't know. There's so many gold bat. We're, we're guessing, right? Hi, easy hey, claps. Easy claps. For, second. <laughs> for the second time. Hope you're <laughs> hope you're having a good night. Um, yeah, it's well. I guess we'll have to see how like. Because, you know, if there is a lot of gold bats, the meta will adjust to more, like, Graveler and Celio type things, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Which will bring back the fighters. So mm -hmm. it's, like, kind of like a circular yeah. um, And then um, it'll find thing, a, like, a, a GTO 
So that would be the only problem with this Pokemon is it's sort of like RPS y, right? It's it's I prefer to have things that have more than one job, like mm. like for instance like the Graveler, where even yeah. against like things that are supposed to beat it, it can still like hit back and get shields. Yeah, which um I'm I'm really looking forward to the, to trying out Graveler to start off with. The only uh, only problem with the team that I came up with is that I'm triple weak to uh, Pillow Swine. Ah. So, um, also Easy Claps has redeemed another dab. So, that's that's on you this time. <laughs> right, but the next one's yours. Here we go. Yeah, Ghost Ice type would be dominant here. Frost Glad Frost last doesn't have a form. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Well, it has two forms, but it's um. They're, they're not considered like second st stage, I guess, right? That's right. As Glalie or whatever. Yeah, so okay. Then, Interesting. Let me. I, I want to see if the shadow, just in a straight fight, beats anything that you wouldn't expect it to. Oh, that's up to you, Easy Claps. <laughs> that is all on I you. Mean, don't, don't go spamming it, because this is meant to be an educational Wasn't the screen. the regular one beating Brion? Brion straight water, though. So, uh, no, I don't think it was. I thought I saw... Because Charm, Charm just devastates it. Okay, never mind. Well, yeah, because I thought it was straight water, maybe, like... I feel like it's not, like... Primarina is not very bulky, right? So I feel like Brion... Maybe it's a little bulkier than thing? It's on cooldown? Gosh <laughs> darn it. Oh, well next time raspberries um so dynamic punch 60. from a regular does 63 percent to a brion which is 1771 the shadow, the shadow. Oh, we can just shadow it here just curious you want to guess how much was the regular 63 percent so it should be like uh you know 75 or something right mm, 76 unlucky but that i mean like what that's... is that 76.4 yeah. okay that's still pretty darn good. Like, yeah, how much so does the like, Karate Chop do? Like, Karate Chop's kind of a weak move. Yeah, well, I mean, it's still doing 5%. Oof. Yeah, so if you, like, if you, like, I'm so I bet you you win the zero shields. Yeah, yeah, you do. That's crazy. Interesting. So that's the shadow. You can win the zero shields. Looks like the regular probably won't be able to. Um, just because you don't probably do enough damage, yeah. Uh, oh, you still do. You still okay. do, yeah. Okay, so interesting, but you need a couple extra karate chops after landing the mm. dynamic punch. So make sure you're on your one, your one four seven there, kids. Because <laughs> if they sneak in a charm, uh, you probably won't win that matchup. But that is very good to know if you do want to run them a choke. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I mean, well, I mean, we don't know how many Brion there'll be. People love charm. People, <laughs> people love charm. People always find a way. They don't care. Um, I mean, yeah, you, you, you actually wouldn't have anything against a duck, dust clops, for example. Well, even with return, you don't, right? Yeah, that's right. That's just straight shadow punch. The all the way down and that's that would be the issue with it is like like i said it's just a little bit of an rps mm -hmm. type mm -hmm. but i think he was running um the team that i saw him running was like golbat vigoroth machoke or something like that so it's like you use vigoroth to draw out like the anti-fighters and then Machoke yeah. has is like kind of cleared out in the back. Like if they have a their own goal bat or something like that or something, you know, they'll probably bring it into the to the unless they're running like goal bat dust clops, but then at that point you just get RPS. Mm. Um, Apparently you know what to do, fish. I I'm I'm just refunding that. <laughs> we we are not going to be bogged oh, down in dabs. This is to be taken seriously. This is a serious stream, Lyle, and we will not okay. succumb to people trying to besmirch it. Okay, last dab of the stream. That's it. Uh, I just refunded his, his Stardust. You just gave him a free dab. That was a free. That was a free dab. And that was that's uh, on the house. Less of a dab and more of like a Iron Batman kind. 
like holding a cape in front. I don't know. That's how I do it. <laughs> if you don't like it, starting to think you don't know what a dab is. I don't know. Yeah, not a, you're not a legend dabber. It, today's my brother's birthday. He just sent me a picture. Oh, nice cake. Has a he has some Mew pins on the cake. Some Mew. He's a Pokemon fan too. Yep. Yep. Or else he wouldn't have the Mew pins. Um, it's all coming together. I, yeah, he just turned twenty four. I guess. Nice. Big kid now. Uh, so we're up to Dusclops. <clears throat> I don't have this Pokemon. It's also a little pricey to build. It is pretty. Because you, you want a little bit of XLs. Uh, but it not is great a against popular... the, the dragons. Uh, Hakamo, uh, the fight. Hakamo is a fighter that beats Dusclops. Interesting. This is the shadow we're looking at, yeah. right? I bet yeah. you the regular beats them because it's just can out bulk it. <laughs> Sorry. Bless you. Thank you. Could have uh, run Wireless, Golbot, Vigoroth. Tomorrow, well, the cup doesn't start till Thursday, so. Um, tomorrow is still Wednesday, but unless it, maybe gonna run it in maybe MO PC. On the type of the part of the world you're in, maybe it's possible for it to be starting tomorrow. I have no idea. Um, but I mean, it seems like a pretty, pretty safe team, right? Like there's there's nothing too yeah. scary and spicy about that. Like if you run like Golbat lead, like Vigoroth to draw like some stuff. Yeah, mm. like it's similar to the Machoke team, right? Mm -hmm. Um, if you run an ABA, then you're weak to like uh, Vigoroth leads. Yeah, it depends on the way you run it. Like you could lead Golbat, right? Um, if if it's Machoke that you're worried about, you could just lead Golbat and then you're fine. Um, how do you evolve your Cosmog? I think you have to wait till the next event, but you mm -hmm. can check the blog because I am not sure exactly. Um... And like Vigoroth has. Uh, sorry, um, Swilet has play against Vigoroth. Like, obviously, this is in like the, the, mm -hmm. the, the from a standing start. But like, if you like, look at they're almost getting to another body slam. So if they have a little bit of energy, they could yeah. probably get the two body slams. Yeah. And a body slam does forty two damage to a fifty nine, uh, to a, a Pokemon with fifty nine HP left. So yeah, yeah, just a little bit of chip, and you're you're good. Uh, the two teams you're thinking of running, well. I want to build around the Graveler. I, I mean, obviously, got to have Vigoroth as well. So then, probably anti fighter lead. See, that's where that's where um, Nidorina would be nice, as opposed to Golbat, because then then you would have something that's not weak to uh, like Celio, right? Or opposing. Or graveler. not Celio. Um, you need opposing uh, Graveler. You need something well, for that. Well, Nidorina gets walled by. Yeah. Traveler, right? Yeah. So even with Thunderbolt or Return, like it doesn't really matter either way. Um but I will say that um uh what was, what was I gonna say? Yeah, oh, because Pillow Swine, like I said, is the core breaker that I'm worried about with like mm. a Graveler Golbat core. Right. Something like that. Um but to be fair, like you can do a quite a bit of damage to it with the Graveler just because of the neutral stone edges. Yeah. So it's not like... But the problem is the Volt Switches are doing like absolutely nothing. So you could try running... You could possibly run Rock Throw if you really wanted to get crazy Ooh. with it. It would definitely be worse in like other matchups, like the like the Vigoroth matchup we saw, it could kind of flip. Yeah. Um, You would definitely not be able to flip that with Rock Throw no. just because it's too slow. But uh, it would definitely help you in other places. But if we surprisingly see a heap of pile of swine, that's that's an option for you. And then just find other ways. There are other ways to take out the Vigoroth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... What are we looking at next? Um, I mean, is there more to say about Dusclops? Can everyone stop tagging me on, like... Friggin' Smiley's tagging me, dude. <laughs> he knows like, you're busy. He's like, literally, was just here. Like, oh my god, I have like 30 friggin' Discord tags right now. <laughs> okay. Um, Staravia? Staravia is a have? hundo. You need a hundo, Staravia. It's okay. It's like quick attack. 
Scraper right, and Air Lace. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. It's okay, but you need a hundo, and it's at level 50, so... And it's Hate Wife. Pricey. Yeah, or Return. I think I have a Purified one. I mean, it's above the fish line. There you go. I've been trying to save my dust. Like, I purposely yeah. didn't... Um, any build anymore i'm just gonna run the team that i have even if it stops working very mm. well i'll just like keep running it for the rest of this master league mm. and then um because i definitely have much more options options to play around with because like i have vigor out i have zwilus i have dragonair i have gold bats i have hakama o's i have graveler pillow swine you know yeah i have so many things already built so i could easily like play around with different team comps depending what i'm seeing um, but for right now for Master League, like I don't feel like like one of my friends was telling me about a team, but it's like I'm not building a Primarina and a Snorlax with two days left in the cup, mm -hmm, right? No, I'm no. just got back over six hundred thousand Stardust. I'm gonna stay there nice. for now until I until I need it. So I'm almost back to five hundred myself. I'm ahead of fish, let's go. <laughs> oh look at that. Look I don't know if you can see this number, hang on, it's uh just, it'd be blurry. There we go. It's focused. 499. 499. I'm 39 dust away from hitting half a mil again. You just catch one Pokemon, you're good to go. Oh, that seems like a lot of work, love. Mm -hmm. I know how much you play the game, so. <laughs> Here we go. I'll do it right now. There's a Pidgeotto on my screen. Nope, it just despawned. Here oh, shit. The event started for you. I'm so jealous. The Which, which event is it? The. This is the. Evolving, evolving stars skies. event. Yeah, skies or oh, stars. stars I, yeah, I think evolving skies is a a line of Pokemon cards. I believe so. Um, yeah, I'm really excited because uh, I still don't have a Hundo Pidgey. So like, I'm gonna Ooh. I'm gonna be trading, catching, and trading many Pidgeotos during that event. So I'm pretty excited about that. Well, I'm catching a Pidgeotto now. And it I better can, not be a hundo. I, I can guarantee it's gonna be a hundo. God damn it. Yeah, sorry. Sorry to do that too. So I've even done special trades for those things. Oh really? Wow. Lucky trades full for shinies, but Charger Bug. What I'm gonna do is matrix this one. <clears throat> with mm -hmm. Spark and with yeah, Bug with Bite. Bug Bite. Personally, I don't know why, but I might lean towards Bug Bite depending on what you're using it for. But it, it seems a little more consistent with Bug Bite, because even against Golbat, it didn't look that bad, right? Yeah. Um, where would be wor where the main issue would be? I think Golbat is not as bad. I think uh, against, like, Dusclops would be much worse with, with Bug Bite, right? Yeah, it would. Uh, like Spark? Well, you've got Crunch. As a charge Spark move. Crunch though, you will like you will destroy a Dusclops. You will get to that crunch so quick. Let's see. So Rayon, you want Spark. Yep. Um opposing charge bug, you want bug bite. Yep, makes sense. Dusclops, Dusclops, you want Spark and you you beat that comfortably, but that's not a huge loss. 400. You beat Fletchling there well with well not well, but like decently with Spark. Yeah. Uh, Golbat, obviously, much better with Spark. Traveler is better with uh, Bug Bite. Let's go. So there's, it's not great still, but um, Ivasaur, Ivasaur better with Bug Bite. Do not we sure how pop expect to see many more of those? I don't know. Ivasaur is like pretty good, right? It's got decent, decent set like Power Whip, Sludge Bomb, not bad. Hey, um, wow. I beat, I beat my Pidgeotto. Ready for this? No, it's not a hundo. It's no, nah, it's not even close. <laughs> Yo, it's a rank one though, so that's good. <laughs> I've got a cocoon here. It's a rank here. one. Um, let's see. Machoke is a loss either way, but a lot better with the spark. Mm -hmm. Magneton, interestingly, much better with bug bite. Yeah, because you're getting that consistent damage, right? Yeah. It's as opposed to the spark. Celio is very close with Bug Bite. Mm. 
But again, the Vigoroth match, like, like if you look at the overall, like, they perform like fairly similarly. Like, like if you look at the average ranking and the win loss, and like, I, I wonder if the Vigoroth win is like big enough. Like, technically, Spark is better, but I, th yeah. I think it also depends on what you are using it for, and how badly you need it to actually. Mm -hmm. Cause like it's very convincing against Vigoroth with Bug Bite. Yeah, and I'm I'm amazed and... by that that it does. Cause they're both neutral moves. Like I know you you give the point of consistent damage, but like I'm still surprised that it's that big a difference. Like, cause if people are, if like Vigoroth double Dragon is an actual team, then like Bug Bite Charger Bug could be like a decent core breaker for that team, mm. because it does well enough against Wireless. And with at that point, you might even put X Scissor on. On it because then you would be able to beat Swilus right, right. with X Scissor, right? So um, definitely something to consider. And that that one draw is obviously against an opposing Spark Charger Bug as well. So like it's really yes. the exact same performance in terms of like straight up wins, win losses. Yeah. But the score is a little worse yeah. for the Bug Bites, yeah. which means it's some of the matchups aren't as close. It's probably less uh, flexible. Yeah, it's a little less flexible, but it also provides you the, the a bit of the fast move pressure, right? Mm -hmm. Even resisted, like if you need to farm something down, you know how Spark is, right? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's not very good at that. So, it's like, is it worth slightly better overall ratings and the ability to like farm something as opposed to like having to throw a uh, discharge at like a mm. ten HP right. Dusclops or something like that? You know. Uh, next, we've got Celio, which you've talked about a little bit. Obviously, a nice counter to your Golbat. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it beats, yeah. Your, beats your Golbat and your Dragons. So, like, anything Ice is obviously a good core breaker to, to Golbat. Because dragons. it's so spammy, right? Mm -hmm. It's spammy mm -hmm. with the Body Slam Powder Snow, so it's going to beat all the Dragons. Mm -hmm. And even, like, Vigoroth and Machoke, in my opinion, is probably not horrible just because you get to those Body Slams so quick. Yeah. And... Um, they do quite a bit of damage. Um, so you are hitting it with an Aurora Beam there. Because Aurora Beam is stab. Mm -hmm. It's uh, slightly lower damage for energy, but it is higher raw damage by a fair amount. Okay. Interesting. But uh, yeah, it takes the Vigoroth down to 30 HP. How about the? I'm just curious how the two shield plays out. They're all pretty similar. So you just going straight body slam there and getting countered down. Okay. Yeah, it's it's not amazing, but yeah, you can you can still there's still some play there, right? Yeah, it's it's not like plenty. the machoke. It's not like the machoke, um, gold bat matchup or something, right? Yeah, like if you. Like there's so many situations where you can like bank a move, bring the bring the Celio out, mm -hmm. and then you know snipe at the end, in the end game. Zero shields left. Vigoroth's got like 20 HP left. Bam. Yeah, I don't know about Aurora Beam. Like if you actually need it, I guess it's good for one shotting Dragon types. And Golbat. Um. Yeah. As opposed to Water Pulse is your other move. Like what are you what are you using that for? Graveler. Okay. Pillow Swine. If that's popular. I don't know. Just thinking. Just yeah, thinking. Yeah. Um, Fletchlander. There you go. Oh yeah, fair. Uh, you know, you gotta you gotta fight back against those uh shadow magmars, right? <laughs> um Magneton. Yeah, so steel types, right? Yeah. Any sort of like a Aeron or whatever. No, what is it called? Laron. Laron. Um, Matang. Matang. Apparently, Matang is a thing. I don't know about that, but it's it's again those reasonably. They have metal high. claw as they have metal claws the fast attack though, right? So like, I don't know. Matang is meta. Are you sure? <laughs> um, no, I just wanted to say that because. Of, I mean, that's good, good bulk. Good bulk, good consistency. Um, what is it running? 
Metal Claw. Psy Shock and Return. Oh, that's another core breaker, actually, for that team I was thinking of. Oh, God. Then, because that thing would would beat grav um actually how does it do against graveler because it's actually metal steel is neutral right on graveler Ooh. it beats it but it's oh it loses but it's very close yeah mm -hmm. okay that's good to know straight rock blast or is that double stone edge to kill it rock blast stone edge and rock blast okay But that, yeah, that's so close. The the Krabbler has one HP left. Um, Psyshock doing 40% damage to it. Mm -hmm. Metal Claw is 4 damage for 6 energy, so... Same kind it's of energy great. as Ember, but yeah, much lower damage. It's not great. Like, let's just put it that way. Well, I know... I, I remember... Did, were you playing back in Ferocious Cup Season 2 of Silk? No. Um, that meta taught us that it's... The meta determines what's good and what's not. Like, Laron was was great in that meta. And that's even with Metal Claw. I have a Laron for Great League. Nice. Um, it's okay. I've used it before. It's got decent charge moves, like Rock Slide, Body Slam. Yeah, totally. Um... But Metal Claw is not great. And also double saying, weak. Like, yeah, it's it's a bad move, but don't discount Matang purely because of the bad fast move. The typing is interesting, though. Yeah. Um, Psychic Steel is definitely interesting because you would probably do okay against Vigoroth and um, nah. like th those types of things. Hmm. Let me check my Matangs here. <laughs> I might do that too. I have a shadow Matang. Do we want shadow? Or no, we want we want regular. Are they recommending purified? Uh yeah, the regulars ranked much higher than the shadow. And I guess they they are recommending purified if they if they want return on it. Cuz otherwise your other option is gyro ball. Let's see what's this one is a purified. Um, it's rank seven ten purified. It only cost me one hundred twenty nine thousand dust. Check this out. I've got a I've got a Belden marked as a rank twenty two Matang. I've also got one marked as a rank thirty seven Little Cup Matang. But they're not purified. They're not purified. No. I mean, if you want to get technical about it, I like I said, I have one there. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to go. Nice. Uh, it, it, I can. It's a rank seven hundred purified. I probably would build that over a shadow because what the hell? I'm, I'm not going to spend three hundred thousand stardust on no. a shadow matang. So, would it be that yeah, much? Is it Thirty-one to forty, forty-four. So yeah. if, we, if we assume we're going to forty, it's a shadow, right? Yeah. So what is? What do they come out at? Like level ten or something? I don't, I don't even know. Yeah. Level five. Yeah, but it would be a lot. You're right. Because when you purify it, it goes up by quite a few levels, right? Too. Yeah, so 25. Plus you're saving. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So it looks interesting. Um, Nid Arena, we already talked about mm -hmm. kind of... Pillow Swine is similar to Celio, but the, the ground coverage is interest, very interesting. So would you put it ahead of Celio? Um, it, like, Celio will beat it because it's taking neutral from ice. Mm. But... Also, like you can see, it's it's not as bulky, so it's getting clapped much worse by Vigoroth. Yeah. And because of it's not as spammy, it's also losing to Dragonair. It's kind of, it has the sort of Mammoth Swine issue that it has in Master League, where it can't really get to its charge moves quick enough to out spam and, and out bulk other things. Mm. So, so um, what what benefit could you have for running Pile of Swine over Celia? <laughs> I think the main benefit is the is the ground typing. Like yeah. So what, what's that getting to, you? Uh, neutral rock damage mm -hmm. and resisting electric. Um, could be could be yeah. fairly useful. So then, how does it do against a an Alolan Grabler? 
does does fine. Because you don't, you can survive a Stone Edge, no problem. Well, tell you what, I wanted to do more than fine, to be honest. Yeah, that's pretty good. Stone Edge. Oh uh, no, that's Rock okay. Blast. Interesting. Oh, that's the two shields. So you're looking at the two shields. Yeah. I mean, Palace Wine's looking pretty good here. Yeah. So. Again, Stone Edge, it's not very bulky, right? And Stone Edge is neutral, so it's going to do a... Like a stab Stone Edge is going to do quite a bunch if it's neutral mm. to any Pokemon, right? So 64%. Um, yeah. But you you hang in there and you're... you're and like, you basically come out with... Uh, do you come out with any energy or no? From that? No. No. Six energy. Okay. Yeah, so there's that. Um, you could probably over farm a bit because after taking a Stone Edge, they're not going to be able to Volt Switch you down, so... Yeah, okay. It's so also, also a possibility. I mean, each one's doing 3%, three, three percent, 5, five damage. damage. Yeah, no, so they have to fall so could... five times, yeah, so you're, you're fine. You can farm them down, them down from quite there. A bit of, quite a bit of energy you could yeah. still get. They could snipe you, possibly, with something. Yeah. But you could over you could over farm by at least like three four powder snows, mm. well probably four and then you you win CMP yeah right so you could CMP them on like a rock blast and then come out with like a probably another avalanche or something I don't know yeah. just something to consider. Um, also it says thirteen turns of difference to flip the scenario so it's fairly safe yeah like even if they have like a one volt switch energy lead it's not going to really matter. So really good to keep in mind if you see a bunch of Alolan Graveler around. Uh, and a bunch of Alolan Graveler and Golbat teams. Where this has the advantage over Celio is you have the Avalanche versus the Aurora mm. Beam. Yeah. So if we're looking at a like a closing scenario, like maybe you're running double ice, like Celio Pillowswine, I don't know, if you want to get crazy. Hmm. Um, if you can get shields down or like a 2-1 to one shield advantage or a 1-0, or a to zero, you can just like start one shotting things, right? I don't mind that idea at all, actually. <laughs> Double ice. Mm -hmm. What would you need as your A? Um, you'd need something anti Vigoroth, something anti anti Vigoroth, uh, anti Graveler. Um, Charge I mean, Above. There you go. Well, Charge Above doesn't beat Graveler. No, no. And Pilot's yeah. is anti Graveler itself. But Celio isn't. Um, Nidorino. No, that also doesn't lose. <laughs> okay. We'll have to figure that out. What beats Graveler? Put it in the team builder. What beats Graveler and Vigoroth? Dusclops? Uh, no, we we're looking for Graveler Golbat, right? No, it's No, uh, Graveler Vigoroth. We're, we're, the question was, what do you put as your A if you're running Celio and... Right, so you need someone to beat like, Graveler yeah, yeah. And, Vigoroth. and Vigoroth. Well, yeah, I mean, Graveler's not as important because the Pilot Swine beats it itself. But if you see it in the lead, then you're screwed. Yeah, yeah. At least has play against it. I I'm just curious yeah. to see. Because um... the other counter... And Machoke. You can put Machoke in there, yeah, too. Cool. If you want. Shadow? Sure. It doesn't matter. Yeah, shadow regular. Okay, let's see. <laughs> A for coverage. A for coverage. That's something. Oh, Razor Leafers. Ooh. Let's go. There you go. We got the Razor Leafers. So, or your own regular Machoke. So you run like Gloom in the, Ivasaur. In the lead. And I, yeah. I don't okay. need. I mean, I like Gloom. There you go. You could run Ivasaur Double Ice. That could be interesting. Yeah, I like because it. Because even even if they swap your... Like we saw, even if they swap the Vigoroth into you, you can chunk it low enough that they're not going to be able to come out of that with like crazy amount of health and energy. Mm, mm. And then you could like um, easily farm that down, right? Shadow, Shadow Dust Clops. Yeah, you too. didn't turn on Shadow. Ah, you didn't turn on yeah, Shadow. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why that's not a given. It should be. It should just be a default, but. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Gloom and Shadow. Shadow oh, Ivastar. Um, uh, Dustclops Shadow apparently loses to the Alolan Graveler. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Because the Graveler just hits so hard, right? Mm. And I assume, so they, these, these take like the average of the 0 and 1 shield, so... Yeah, so Haskalintu is saying it's specifically in the zeros the Shadow Dust Locked wins, but in the ones, if it can shield, like, I guess if it can shield. I was gonna, uh, I mean, that, that probably gets it shielding a Rock Blast, so it doesn't even need to shield a Stone Edge to win that one. I have a really bad Ivasaur that's already powered up. I built it for like someone to practice with someone. Yeah. Because it was already at like basically 1500. And it's like a little expensive. Shields up does Cloud wins. Yeah. Uh, possibly, yeah, in the two shields. Yeah. Because it just, it outspams the Graveler. And, and in the ones, that. I'd say. So I, the reason that shows up as a, a win for the Graveler is that the Graveler's winning the Zeros, and the Dusclops is winning the Ones, but the Zeros would be a more dominant win. Right. Okay. So yeah, there's some options. I'm I'm curious about that. Uh, I also don't have a Celio. You don't have a Celio? And... No, I never built one. Wow. Uh, Chansey. I don't want to talk about you. <laughs> and I have a rank 12 Celio that only needs... Um, it beats Dragon. How much is... Rank 12? Or Chansey? Chansey. Oh, God. I don't want to think about it. Beats Wireless. How does a Zen Hudbutt Chansey beat Zwilus? Please tell me that. Oh, Jeez, I guess a Dazzling, dazzling gleam. gleam. Yeah, so it'd have to. That's like, probably such a long matchup. That. What are you yeah. baiting with a Psychic? Yeah. Come on, man. Like, freaking. <laughs> How long does this take? 81 seconds. Good God. Ain't nobody got time for that. But if the thing is, like, Zwilus can probably just shield and just come out with, like, 300 energy. So. <laughs> Of course you're gonna beat the you don't you don't even beat the fighters you do beat the fighters in the zero shield though so some people yeah. run like aba with chancy mm -hmm. because you can at least it's sort of like registeel you can even against like metacham sometimes depending on the moveset you can at least like guarantee shield advantage out of that matchup yeah so you could run like chancy uh i don't know um, like a ghost type and then uh, Celio or something if you wanted to get super crazy about it. Or Graveler or something. Alright, so now let's look at Haunter and I'm going straight to the Vigoroth matchup. Bulldo, uh, super effective. That's yeah. the main issue with Haunter. But then what if you can like you... shield the Bulldoze? Like, yeah, yeah, it's bait dependent. Bulldoze. Yeah, we call the baits, mm. right? We don't shield the baits. Oh, always. We don't. We never shield the baits. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you do manage to shield it, if you do manage to shield a bulldoze, it's pretty dominant. Yeah. Again, you, if you probably just double shield to be safe, you probably just win that. Mm -hmm. Um, you're probably gonna get baited quite a bit. Just keep yeah, that in because, mind. Because of that very reason. It's gonna it's it's threatening, right? It's gonna one shot you. Cause there's gonna be one time that some person throws the bulldoze because they had multiple people like call the bait on them. You get one shot, and then for the next like twenty battles you shield the friggin' body slams. <laughs> yeah. So that's the way it goes. That's why I usually just no shield and if the person nukes me, good on them. <laughs> but like nine times out of ten, they're baiting. Did you see? I don't know if you saw the regionals. Did you see Hot Pocket versus Anoff? No. Bait, bait, right? Bait. Successful bait. 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 No, sometimes they were unsuccessful. Next mm. attempt, bait, <laughs> bait. Eventually, they're gonna shield the bait, right? Mm. And eventually, the baits just add up. Like obviously in this matchup, Body Slam wouldn't add up. But if it was like a neutral bait. It would. What is this? Uh, this oh. is versus the Dusclops. 
So the dust cloud. Well, with really Shadow bad. Ball, you would get outpaced, right? So if you if had shadow, shadow punch, punch, you would probably be able to win that because you would outpace it. I don't know if it could take one. Ooh. It can it can take a shadow punch. The bulk of Dusclops is just out of control. With one HP. Uh, yeah, so Shadow Punch does thirty eight percent. Each hex is doing each hex is doing ten percent damage. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I feel like Dusclops is your way to go. Like, no, not even just looking at that Haunter matchup. Like, looking at uh, how much better it does against the Big Roth as well. Oh, but well, like, no, then again. But I'm just saying, like, if, if like, there's, like, a, you know, let's say your the Vigoroth just takes out your Graveler and you, like, farm down that Vigoroth with a Haunter and they bring in, like, a Dusclops, buddy. <laughs> like, they're done. They're done. Mm-hmm. You just shot you that. Then you want Shadow Ball, right? Because mm-hmm. Shadow Ball, like, um, probably one shots almost every ghost type. Like, check Shadow Ball. I want to see it. Definitely almost KOs, right? So Shadow Ball does ninety six percent damage yeah. to a Dusclops. There you go. So Shadow had one shot. Mm-hmm. So that's that's your key then with the Haunter is you've got to be able to farm down. And then nuke. So if you like can farm endgame? down something where you're where you're not getting, in. um, it's sort of like endgame. Also, possibly like uh, lead as well. Yeah. Because like if you if you sw- counter swap something, you can farm something down. Like shield once come out with a ton of energy. Mm. Then no, like haunter. Like what are they gonna do? They're gonna come in with what? Like like ice and ghost seem like a very strong typing combination in this cup. Yeah. Um, doesn't seem like there's a lot that resists both, if anything. Yeah, no. Like, what would resist? Like, I dark would. Re- dark normal. Is there any normal ice types? No, I don't think so. No, I mean, Paragon Two. I'm sure knows Blizzard. What other dark types are there? Weavile's not no, eligible, not right? That. So no. I don't think there's anything. So that is one benefit for Haunter. It's like you have that insane damage pressure, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll try. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get a. Let me get a piece of pen and a paper. I'm gonna write down some team ideas while we're brainstorming. Yeah. Because I'm liking where this combination, this conversation is going. One second. Yeah. Sweet. Galarian Lanou is interesting. That uh, just like the regular. Um, what is it? Sinoan Lanoon? Or Hoenn Lanoon? It's uh, the second charge move is not great. Pardon? I was just saying the. We're going to build a rock rock, is that what you're saying? The um, Galarian Lanoon has the same problem as. Is it Sinnoh or Kanto Lanoon? Uh, Sinnoh or Hoenn Lanoon? Where it's like that second move in Dig is not that great. Does it have does it have tackle? Galarian? Yeah. Um No. Oh no, Lick. It's the baby one that has tackle. Okay. Good to know. Zigzagoon. Yeah. Um now I'm gonna be back in a sec, because I you might have noticed I'm yawning. Sure. I'm gonna get my, my wake up pill. No problem. Okay, so Ivasaur, Celio, Pilliswine. Interesting team so far. Um, Haunter. Haunter, Haunter. We like Haunter now. It's now our favorite. What do we pair with Haunter in this cup? Let's see here. Evolution Cup. Haunter. Obviously very glassy. Gonna lose the Zwilus. You lose the Vigoroth technically, I don't know, but the Dragonair, Dusclops, Chansey, Charger Bug, Marsh Tomp, Lanoon. Yeah, I think um oh Gotharita is eligible. That is a psychic type. Interesting. Gotharita. 
Confusion, Psychic, who only Psychic moves? Uh, I don't know about that. Hmm. What other Psychic types are there? Matang, Gotharita, Duosian, or whatever, however you say that. Celia will lose to the Shadow Dusclops. Hmm. Haunter, Celio. I like Celio. Interesting. A little weak to those things. Ah, uh, that's right. Oh, I was muted. That's. I was like. Oh, were you back? <laughs> yeah. You're very loud. You're loud now. Holy shit. Sorry. I was. I was like. Did you turn it up? No, it was probably just closer to the mic. Um. Because <laughs> I came back, I'm like, okay, so what, what did you start writing down? And I just get nothing. And then I'm like, okay, what do you think about this Pokemon? And just nothing. I'm like, you're just off in your own little world. And then I'm like, nope, wait. It was technology's fault. Yes, technology sucks. We've <laughs> learned that, right? Uh, so, Marsh Tom, I... I don't know if that would be like a, a nice neutral option to get. It would be a super hard counter to your Alolan Graveler, if that's a thing. And then just like neutral against a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely has decent coverage. You have Surf and uh, Mud Bomb, right? Yeah. Is it? Oh, that's Switch. Okay, I'm looking at Switches. That makes sense. I'm like, it's ranked really low. Uh, <laughs> Okay, yeah, 25. It's a great closer and a great charger. Mm -hmm. Just depends on how popular these things are. Again, you're gonna get, you're gonna most likely be losing to the things with like some fast move pressure. Yeah, like those like top three are Vigoroth, pretty scary. Dragonair, Zwilus, like to, to have like three hard losses to like the top three Pokemon mm. is a little tough. Well, that's not that hard, is it? 321, like, the, I mean, it's not great. Are you great. looking at the shadow or regular? That's the shadow. Oh, okay. So, I was looking at the regular, but... Shadow probably do, is, does a little bit better against them. I mean, so th this is basically... Uh, getting the Poison Fang bait and then Shadow Balling. What if they... Uh, they can probably just go straight Shadow Ball, is my guess. Reckon? So I'm gonna... Because a Surf is not going to do enough to KO, and uh, Mud... But shots are gonna do not much damage, right? Uh, it wins if it. So if the um, the Golbat okay. can't get to a second Shadow Ball if it goes. That's against a Shadow. Yeah. So the regular. Let's just check the regular quickly. I'm just curious because I don't know how many people. Like I have actually a regular March Taunt built. Yeah, same. But I don't have a Shadow one, so. Yeah, Marsh Tom just loses that. Very close. Very close. Okay, so interesting. Surf is better move than Mud Bomb, for the record. Yeah. So I feel like in matchups where Surf is neutral, it would definitely do better than in matchups where um, Mud, Mud Bomb, Bomb is neutral, yeah. right? Yeah. Like against like Celio, it doesn't do as well because of the Mud Bomb. Yeah, I'm uh, assuming. Celio would re resist the Surf, so you still want Mud Bomb there. Oh yeah, no, that's, that's what, what you're saying. saying. Like, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be throwing mud bomb in that in that scenario, right? Yeah. So it probably do a little so bit that's worse. A disadvantage. Worse there. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, but in re in exchange, mud bomb is super effective against a lot more things in this meta. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't mess up a haunter, that's for sure. <laughs> and you're a Lolan graveler. 
anything poison if someone's running Nidorino Nidorina. Mm -hmm. And it does have some sort of a win condition. Like, it's not horrible against Golbat, right? Like you're saying, end game. Um, mm. You could surf things. Mm -hmm. So what is it mainly losing to? The It's mainly using to, like, counter users and, like, the dragons, basically. Uh, let's check it out. Against the whole meta. Solution Cup meta. Uh, Shadow or regular? What do you um, want to check out? Sh Shadow. Um, g'day, banana. I'm good, thanks. Can't speak for my co-host. I'm decent. Decent. This meta that's, is very interesting. Yeah. So uh, very. I'm even. actually like trying to dissect it a bit, and it's it's quite unique. So um, it's definitely becoming more uh, in depth mm. the more I'm looking at it. It is. Um, it is the grass uh the water ground type yeah so i also need to come out swinging so that i can i can uh i want to i want to like <laughs> get on a good run this page. Gonna, well i'm not on the first page anymore oh, but, um no that's it's like basically impossible to maintain because um you know you, you have to change your team up basically in order to uh is that is that right is that what it takes yeah there's like there's literally like spread cheaters and stuff. Wow. Like you'll you'll I... queue into someone and they'll know like okay this person's running this team. Um I I, I was before PV Poke was invented. I, I was a spread cheater for Silk. Fish is a spread cheater? God damn it, fish. I used to just come up like yeah, just make these whole big I I spent more time trying to configure these spreadsheets than actually studying from them. Just trying to work out, like, okay, here's how I can, like, color code them, or, like, get them automatically color coding so that, like, the wins show up green and the losses show up red. And I basically created mm -hmm. PV Poke before PV Poke did. Look at you, man. You're like a, <laughs> you're a founder. But you're the guy that doesn't know much about, uh, you know, actual, what do you call it? Uh, coding and stuff, actual right? Things. So, I think things in general. Like, computer things. Computer, computer stuff, things. yeah. I can, I can, I can do computers. <laughs> um, so, uh, we just wanted to look at its general matchups. This is the one, one shield. Mm -hmm. Shadow, and that was Shadow, wasn't it? Yes. So, so I obviously see your Razor Leafers. Grass, leafers, Razor Leafers. Your Celio, your Golbat, Hakama O. Oh, beating Floet? Oh, no, Flo losing to Floet. Mm -hmm. Losing to Zwilus, Dragonair, that's a lot of big names. What are you beating? Rion, Chansey, like, that, <laughs> those names are, like, absolutely no. I'd say it's less less than impre less impressive. It's wins and it's losses, right? Mm -hmm. Much it less It just depends impressive. how the meta... Sh it's more of, like, an off-meta pick, yeah. right? Yeah. It, will, it, it probably has a lot of play against, like, what they call, quote-unquote, like, core breakers. Yeah. Um, but not sure how useful in a general would be but again with shields down it seems like it can hit pretty hard um, um there's if if Laron becomes top meta then you're golden i don't know man <laughs> like with how good vigoroth looks like yeah. i don't know how Laron could be top meta but... i was absolutely being facetious so we got magneton again with vigoroth yeah, I like Magneton. Floet is interesting. I, I do agree. Um, it is another X. Like, that's the problem with the middle evolution thing is a lot of these, like, are mm -hmm. kind of XL ones. Mm -hmm. um, Magneton is, like, um, you could run Zap Cannon, too, if you want to be Ooh. really insane. Okay. Like, discharge Zap Cannon, just, like, double, double electric or triple electric moves. It's, like... You're losing to Zwilus anyways, right? So you might as well just zap cannon it. They're probably they might not shield. And that might like I don't know how much that does to Zwilus, I'm curious. A zap cannon? Or a yeah. flash cannon? Zap cannon. I don't know if, I think zap cannon is better than flash cannon, but again, you don't have the guaranteed debuff now. Yeah. But it's still I've two seen, thirds. I've seen how much a zap cannon does to like a G Fisk. 
it does much more than you expect. So, yeah, interesting charges. Not nothing too low energy, but um Zap Cannon does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 84 percent. so like this is from shadow how much how much does the sparks do just curious 2.1 percent. so yeah by the time you're so, getting to a zap cannon by the time you plenty. get to a zap cannon um they might shield I think, um, KDP, up, the Dutch? question well, is, uh, why aren't you zap cannoning a Yeah, why aren't you zap cannoning a g uh, That was in... You don't get to first play to the leaderboard by not zap cannoning g -fist. Fossil Cup. When, back when Fossil Cup was around, I was running um, Shadow Magneton for a while there with uh, double double electric, so... I'm not going to discharge a g -fist. That's going to do nothing. <laughs> so I might as well just zap cannon it, right? g -fist wasn't eligible for Fossil Cup. Yes, it was. It's a steel type. It's a. It people was. Just didn't, it was. Yeah. People didn't use it very often yeah. because there was a lot of waters and other steels, but uh, it was eligible. Um, so was Bastidon, but you didn't see it very often. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 I mean, yeah, I I don't mind that as a closer to be honest. Like, how much would it do to a Vigoroth as well? Like that would abs that would have to KO, right? I wonder if you could like take a similar. Um, 125%. So if you can, or... if you can like burn shields, like Slifer was uh, suggesting flow ed. If you can like uh, switch into a flow ed, if they have like gold bad, you can take at least one shield with a psychic. Magneton can like farm down a bit, just KO anything it likes with a Zap Cannon. I know, right? How much is it? One shot's figure off? Yeah, one shot, one, 125% from a shadow. Buddy. <laughs> Yo, I, I one shot uh, Regis steals with this thing before. Like, after you spark it a little bit to get to get up to it. Wow. You, um, but I battled. No spark? It or Thundershock, whatever story. I think you want Thundershock, right? That's what I was thinking. Or no. Yeah. It, yeah, it knows I think both. You used... I just checked, it knows both. Um Uh yeah, I think you want Thundershock, it's better. Um I'm trying to think of this uh let's see here. Losing two. Holy World is pure water. I want to keep okay. playing this game. Let's see how much that can do to <laughs> Shadow Crocodile. Uh, that's a biter, isn't it? I have a it? Shadow cro Crocodile. It's, uh, it doesn't. It has Water Gun or Scratch. Ooh, Dragonair. Let's see how much Zap Cannon does to Dragonair. Ninety nine point five percent. Yeah, does a lot, man. You can you can just KO literally anything you want. If you get Magneton into a situation where your opponent has no shields left, you can literally close it out against anything. <laughs> Even your pile of swine, you just go Magnet Bomb and you beat that beat it that way. Um. Okay, I have a team. Yep. I don't know how good this team is. Go for it. That I'm looking at. Dragonair, Girder, Magneton. Girder. Where did Girder come from? I think it looks interesting as a safe swap. Poison Jab, Brick Break, and Stone Edge. Uh huh. You're losing to your Golbat, obviously. You're losing to Dragonair and Zwilus. A fighter that loses to Zwilus is a bit of a problem. Um, you beat it in the in a safe swap scenario though. If you have like one or two uh like one or two um energy lead. I believe.
Yep, good call. Um, wow, Stone Edge is... Yeah, it's closing it out with the Stone Edge, interestingly. Yeah. So you could also just go straight for the Stone Edge, and if they don't shield, you could probably just shield Poison Jab down, yeah. right? Yeah, Good move. I think it's interesting. Yeah. Um, because you definitely have... Happen. Like, the good thing about this is you're gonna... You're basically almost guaranteed to get shields as a safe swap, which is what I like. Because you don't... Personally, like, I don't mind, like, losing um, Switch if I safe swap. Mm. But if I can come out of that with a shield advantage, that might help me um, in the end game. Especially yeah. if I have a Magneton Shadow in the back. Shadow Magneton, yeah. Yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah, I think Dragonair could, could be interesting with it. Because uh, Girder has play against, like, uh, some of the dragons. Um, and... Uh, like the ice types as well. Yeah. So, um, could you go your Lolan Grabbler instead of the Gerda as your safe switch? Oh, um, yeah, you could probably do that. So it would same just be thing, not right? as you go straight Stone Edge. You're um, mm -hmm. they're, they're still having a shield, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you could try that too. I'll put that in brackets. <laughs> Graveler. I do have a pretty good Gerda I can build, and I have everything else powered up, so. Like, I think if I just power up a Celio and a Girder, I should be pretty good for, like, at least four or five different teams I want to try for this cup, which would be nice. Oh, whoa, yo, speak of the devil, there's a Flay Bebe in front of my house here. Nice. Please be a hundo. So, I think um, for, for that situation, so, well, basically, the question is, how do you burn shields to open up the back of the Magneton? And I think looking at this list the attackers list is how you come to that answer so it's wireless 100 as an attacker like if you can switch into that then you're probably a good chance of getting at least a shield from most things that they can switch in mm -hmm. machoke vigoroth like they'll all if you you would have to spend a shield yourself but you could probably get shields back from them yeah, the thing about the Dragon Breath users is that not it's not necessarily that their charge moves are like super threatening. It's just that it's kind of like the same thing as like charm. Like mm. you find yourself shielding weather balls, yeah. resisted weather balls from like an A tails. It's not because you want to shield the weather ball. It's just that the charms are doing so much yeah. damage. Yeah, you need to shield something just to prevent the fa fast move beatdown, right? So, um, yeah. So KDP That's says kind of um, Dragonair doesn't shield pressure anymore, though, unfortunately. So that would be because uh, you were relying on your Dragon Pulse before, whereas now it's all just Body Slam and Aquatel, um, I'm assuming. Yeah, there's definitely pros and cons um, to the two, but I think I, I like the Body Slam mm. version better. A little bit better. Yeah, but... I, I think so. Definitely consistent. Mm -hmm. You can go like Vigoroth, Zwilus, and Shadow Magneton. No. <laughs> like, Vigoroth is ranked the number one safe swap in this meta, right? So. Yeah. Um, Which, you need to have course. something. By a long way. In the back to handle Vigoroth. Or at least be able to chip it yeah. enough with your lead that you can maintain chip switch good. if you want. Because if you can't keep swip, can't keep swap for some Vigoroth save swap, or if you're constantly going down shields against it, then that's going to be bad for you. So with, this is what, two counters of energy lead? Um, so 14 energy. Yeah, that's two counters. So it only loses to six Pokemon, Floet being one of them. Yeah, it's scary, man. Actually, no. F Floet is two of them. I don't know why it lists Floet twice. Yeah, it is quite... It is a little scary, not gonna lie. Alright, what else uh, have we got that we haven't looked at yet? Um, there's um... Magma. There's Fracture. Yeah, Magmar for the King Duck Pool, you know, and those Magmar fans out here. There's your five. I'm not sure if he has a. Sh 
Not sure if he has shadow or regular one built, but I I think he. So the sh the regular one they're they're recommending return. Mm. I think it only has fire, charge moves. That's why they're recommending that. Uh, no, no, it has frustration. Okay, frustration, <laughs> sure. And you fracture with Fractured. Dragon Tail, Dragon Claw. <laughs> Feldai says Magma! Yeah. Um, um, fracture this? is pretty high damage. Ooh. Yeah, that is that is super high attack weighted. But um, usually the the one thing to note though is like the Dragon Tail users usually will come out ahead of the Dragon Breath users in like one shield scenarios just because of the extra damage Dragon Tail gives you. So you can check against like um, Dragonair. Like you probably, okay, it says it loses the Dragonair. Interesting. Maybe that's only, maybe it's too glassy then. That's That's got to be damage rounding playing a part there. Yeah, it must be just the Dragon Breaths are doing too much because yeah. it's... Uh... Each Dragon okay, Breath is doing eight damage. How much does one Dragon Tail do? Just... 22. So 17% so... versus 6.7%. Uh, 6, 6 so, but you're getting three of those in. So it's basically, uh, what is that? That's 13.4, uh, 20.1. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. For every yeah, not sure that thing's that good, but so and so that's that's where dragon uh like damage rounding comes into so much play because it's by the time you complete one dragon tail, the dragon breaths have done more total damage and not not only not only more total damage but more percentage of damage as well than one dragon tail. Well then, Fracture <laughs> is uh, kind of useful, useless then. <laughs> Sorry, Fracture. Yeah, I don't know if it's that great. Um, like the whole family, I think the interesting thing about Haxorus is it has counter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But um, I could, well, clap a Ivasaur if you needed to, right? Ivasaur's good. <laughs> um, is, is what I'm coming to learn. So yeah, nice counter to the bigger off. Yeah, like you're only worried about your um your Golbat really, and then uh, and the dragons would be a little annoying, the but dragons like would be annoying. you still do have the sludge bomb, right? Yeah, at least versus fracture. Like I don't think fracture wants to take a sludge bomb. That's for sure. Um, it would be a nice core breaker to your bigger off Alolan Graveler, although counters doing that just fine. I don't I don't know how many big Alolan Graveler cores there'd be. No, but it could be like Vigoroth. Um, let's see. Like, yeah, something like that. Like Vigoroth and uh, I don't know. Maybe they want to. Maybe someone's pairing it with a Floet <laughs> or a Brion or, or something. Like Vigoroth Brion. Maybe. Then, I don't know. Yeah, then Ivy Saw really comes into play. Something You're loving like that. that. People always counter user, fairy. I don't know. You have to see exactly like. From what I've I've only done a very limited amount of practice, and basically a lot of people are running like a lot of like double dragon lines. So, um, uh, Quiridon is interesting. Are you looking at chargers or overall? Yes, I am. <laughs> because or switches, we're looking at switches. I know, right? Yeah, we 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 did cover that earlier. Graveler is really good. Just that volt switch damage in the. And the rock typing actually kind of helps it a little bit in this cup. There's not a lot of things that, like, there's Marsh Tomp, but other than that, there's not too much. Swadloon. XL again. Interesting. It's a bug grass type. Um, so it would just get absolutely pummeled by Golbat. Yeah, Bug Bite, Silverwind. Yeah, you can Silverwind the Gold Bat. Um, yeah. At least Floet has Psychic, right? Yeah, yeah. To hit back. It would be nice if Floet got um, Fairy Wind, but I don't think it does. It'd be amazing. There's your good... It'd probably, uh... be, it'd probably be ranked much higher in this cup if it had Fairy Wind, to be honest with you. 
It would. I agree. For that, because you're taking, re you're giving resisted damage to the dragons right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Girder, I, I think looks kind of underrated. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm not sure how much Stardust it's going to cost me to build a Girder, but it doesn't have to be a super <laughs> high level. So I have a really good one. Your rank one's at twenty eight and a half. Somebody traded me this one a while ago, and it's if I evolve it, it gets to eleven twenty seven. So, so where's Ivasaur? Ivasaur is pretty low little... among the grasses. Interesting. No, that's Shadow even. The regulars, yeah, reg low. regulars down here, fifty-four. Hmm. Um, Interesting. But yeah, Queerden is up there with your body slam energy ball. It's just straight grass, isn't it? So this girder is forty-three k plus seventy-five k for the second move to power up. Okay. Quilladin is yeah. It's a Quilladin has body slam though, which yeah. is kind of nice. So it gives it, it a little like more it's not coverage. Really helping it against the dragons, though. No, but if you if you could like if you had some energy, it would help you, right? Probably. But it's also it's non-stab body slam, so yeah, it's not like amazing. So with two vine whips of energy lead, that's thirteen wins out of twenty-four. Uh -huh. I don't know, it's not enough to overcome a bunch of these. Your dragons, you're still losing. Your ghosts, you're still losing. Yeah, especially like Haunter would be tough. Yeah. Ghost, Poison. You beat, beat Vigoroth. With two Vinus of lead. Mm -hmm. And of course you flow mm -hmm. it. Well, yeah, you're resisting Vine Whip, which is nice, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Shadow Gloom is uh, the highest ranked Razor Leaper. You got your Shadow Bay Leaf. I mean, I like the poison typing purely for the Vigoroth. Yeah, I can see that. Um, are we done? Or should we keep going? We can check a couple more. I don't think, like, like I said, it's a very top heavy cup. Yeah. Right? Um, we already talked about Magneton, we already, we are, uh, Glaring Staravia, Lanoon. we already touched on. Lanoon is kind of interesting, like Snarl, Body Slam, but again, mm. you're double weak to counter, yeah. so it might be a little risky. Um, Poliwhirl is interesting, Smud Bomb, Skull, it's kind of like a... Legacy Skull. Little, yeah, it's a bit bulkier than, uh, Marsh Top, and it's oh. pure water. So oh wow, that's has... gotta be gotta be level fifty. Or level yeah. forty nine and a half anyway. I know a couple of people that have one. Psychotic um, people. Conky Conky has one. <laughs> psycho. He is a psycho. We we already <laughs> confirmed that. Uh if it had ice punch, that would be that would like come in real handy. But it does not. It's mud shot, mud bomb skull. For which one? If it had that, what? Uh, if Sorry? it had um, ice punch, like the yeah, like the, oh yeah, it would be it would definitely be higher ranked. Or dynamic um, punch for like his wireless. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's interesting. Yeah, the the scald like mud bomb combo might be better than surf mud bomb. I'm not sure. Surf, where does Surf um, come into it? Oh, the, it's uh, against the um, Marshall. At least you do, would do a little better against, like, Celio. Yeah. Right? Because you're only, you're taking resisted Powder Snows. So that would probably help you there. Um, but. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's no, I'm check the, see if Marshall. there's anything else on the list there that might have some play. Oh, we haven't talked much about Laron. Look, so if you can avoid a Vigoroth. It's bulky, right? It's, it's pretty, pretty bulky, bulky yeah. I think. Um, uh, I mean, 
No, I mean, its resistances make it feel bulkier than it is. That, that too. 1962 is not bad, though. It's not bad, no. Um, so I'm, I'm just thinking, if you can avoid a, a Vigoroth, then how well does it play out there? I'd it's... say it's fine. Like, Dusclops, it's saying it's losing, but, like, those are mm. pretty close matchups. It's um, beating Matang, you're... Dragonair. I find that very interesting. Yeah. So oh, you're rock baiting slide with bait. a rock slide, with a spading with a body slam, and then KOing mm -hmm. with the rock slide. The metal claw is doing four percent each, and Aquatail does. And Aquatail only only does forty percent, not even. Yeah, it's it's like I said, I've used it before in Great League. Um, it's quite bulky, so yeah. So you can you can um, tank one Aquatel pretty comfortably, and they they have to respect a rock slide. Yeah, because the metal claws do add up. Like the, mm. it's not the greatest move. Yeah. But if if it's not resisted, it's it's fine. Yeah. If it's a resisted, then it's it gets kind of scuffed. And then like mm -hmm. it would absolutely destroy a Golbat. Yeah. Well, Shadow Ball would still hurt, but. Yeah, it would definitely be good against Golbat. And obviously, it's resisting the Dragon Breath in this matchup, which, which quite help it, because that's where Dragonair gets a lot of its damage from. Mm -hmm. Shadow Ball does about half. Yeah, so from a Shadow, it would just do just over half, right? Rock Slide's only doing 68%. That's interesting. Yeah, but you can probably just, like, Rock Slide Metal Claw down, mm. like... Yeah, look at that. Loses the two zeros. Yeah. There we go. They, so that's, that's a bit of a hard bin. counter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. It definitely could be interesting. I have yeah. one built. Maybe I'll try it at some point, depending on how the meta sh is shaking out. I think we're, it's worth looking at. Oh, how how does it Duot, do against Graveler? I think that's an interesting one. The Duot looks kind of interesting there. Hang on, I'm looking up this one first. I will say, just the move Ooh. self itself. Do what? I think I have a good do what? Stone Edge doing 36%, and you'd want to go Rock Slide doing 45%. Yeah, I mean, that's an interesting one. Obviously, the uh, the Vault Switches are doing heaps of damage, uh -huh. but those uh -huh. Rock Moves are uh, resisted. So, ooh. wow, the zero it loses the zeros? Uh-huh. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so that's a bit disappointing. All right. Now I'm happy to, to move on to do what? Yuri Kata Aquatail X is a... Spammy. Yeah, super spammy. Super spammy. Um, could be interesting. I don't know. Don't think it's necessarily amazing, but like... Um, beats Marshall. You know. Beats Laron. Beats Marshall, beats Laron, beats Matang, beats... Dusclops beats Celio. Yep, and only, only loses to Dragonair and Vigoroth. Oh yeah, he's <laughs> I got the emote approved, so Slyfer's <laughs> using the Lyle Jess uh, busted emote. That is amazing. It's a busted face. That is so good. Yeah. You look like you got a monobrow. Thank you so much. <laughs> really appreciate it. I don't think I do. Yeah, I think that basically wraps it up. Like, we're starting to get down. We can yeah. just scroll down quickly and see if there's anything else interesting. Lagotharita looks like shit. I already looked at it earlier. It's only it's only psychic type moves. Again, Shelgon, Shelgon. is somewhat interesting because it is a bit of a bulkier dragon type. It's just like, if it had Dragon Claw, I think it would be, like, so much better. But It's not that bulky. You know, it's bulkier than, is like... Is it bulkier than Dragon? Uh... Yeah, just Similar. barely. Similar. Yeah. And no one's ever accused Dragonair of being too bulky, no, right? No. So um Hakamo has got some bulk. Yeah. Yeah, Hakamo has got some decent stats. Um, but again, you do have the fighting typing, which does add some extra weaknesses. Mm -hmm. But I think it's probably it's either that or Dragonair, the two best dragons. Dartrix, just a razor leafer, blah no. <laughs> Next. Porygon 2. If you want more Zap Cannon action. More Zap Cannon action. Oh, uh, Meme Team Monday. 
double zap cannon. There you go. War yeah. turtle has bite or water gun. Galarian um, Mr. Mime. With that ice punch. I mean, could be interesting. What typing does it have? Um, it's ice psychic, so it's psychic. gonna lose to Vigoroth. Right? It's a psychic type that will lose to Vigoroth because of that Togetic. Mm -hmm. I have a Togetic built, but. Do you? Um, yeah. You want hidden power on it. That is, yeah, awful moves. So I have hidden power flying on my Togetic. Okay. Because it gets stabbed. So it's yeah, that's one of the better. Good. Hidden powers you can have. Uh, Luxio. Um, Luxio is XL. Yeah, Spark, Wild Charge, Crunch. That's a good I mean, move set. Yep. Like, I'm not sure it's much better or worse than Magneton if you're just yeah. looking for pure damage. But I guess you're not taking super effective from. Cows. You know, Vigoroth, yeah. but I don't think Luxio is necessarily the bulkiest. Yeah. Crimplup is decently bulky. Bubble, Icy Wind, Hydro Pump. Um, white Chocolate. I don't know what those emotes say. They say Lyle is amazing. Them. Thank you so much, White Chocolate. <laughs> Hope you're having a great night. Uh, I have a Croconaw as well, and it's definitely interesting. Ice Punch and Crunch. But again, with all the Dragons like Water Gun might not be the the greatest fast move. It says I love lamp. Okay, me too. <laughs> it's a, a reference to um, Dragon Ball Z, that right? Movie called again? No, <laughs> what's the movie called <laughs> Anchorman. again? Uh, Anchorman. Yeah, thank you. Shadow, shadow, shadow Graveler. Graveler, regular Graveler. There's not a Shadow at Lowland Graveler, right? No. Yeah, I think we're basically like running out of... Yeah, we're in the pits. Like, but Brava. This is bad. But Brava, like... Dragon Breath, Zantu, and Bug Buzz? Isn't it a flying ground type? No. Just Dragon Ground, like Flygon. Oh, it is just still Dragon Ground. Okay. Dragon Breath, Zantu. Okay, like... I mean, like, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, I agree. And Bug Buzz. Um... Like, the moveset is more appealing than the other move, but, like, I don't think it's... What's the stat product on this one? Let's see. Uh, 15, 23? So, very glassy. Yeah, that's Magneton and, levels. And if there's a lot of, like, ice types, uh, it's definitely not a safe swap. Let's just put it that <laughs> way. Hmm. Okay. Charmeleon, Combuscan, Graveler, yeah. Vanillish. No. All right, let's call it, I think. Wait, does Electric is the one with Dragon Claw or it's only the evolution has Dragon Claw? Just curious. Nope, it's okay, just Spark it's the evolution. Acid. Um, so the evolution, Electros, has Dragon Claw. Because that would be interesting if you could get Electric type with Dragon coverage. Would definitely be interesting, but okay. Yeah, I think we about summed it up. So the three teams that I have put together here yes. that I might try out are Ivasaur, Celio, Pillow Swine, Haunter, Celio, Hakamo O, Dragonor, Dragonor, Girder, Dragonor, uh, Girder, Magneton. So yeah, those are I'm the gonna... three teams I might be looking at. I don't know if they're good, but uh... I'm gonna try some combination of those teams. So, like, I'm, I definitely want to try Magneton. I don't know if I'd use me... Girder as my, my switch there. I might just use Big. Yeah, you could probably do that, too. That would be the smart thing. Probably <laughs> don't, get, don't get too stupid about it, right? Dragon... Where is it? Dragon Air... Well, I powered these things up for other cups, so I might as well use them here, right? Yeah, totally. And I have a, totally. I have a really good ranked um, girder, so you might as well use it. Um, should we raid Concentrate Queen, doing a duo with Sosa Flow? 
Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> Concentrate Queen, She's. I think she's like doing some sort of like Halloween makeup and stuff these days too. Some spooky... Well, I assume if she's on with Sosa Flow, I don't think she's doing makeup. She has makeup on. <laughs> it's not makeup. It's like face paint. Uh, oh, for like right. Ha- for like Halloween, right? I thought like, I thought you were you saying know? she was like experimenting with like makeup content. Well, like Halloween face painting. Yeah, that's yeah, what I yeah. meant. Not not so much makeup. Big goldback core incoming. Yes. Yeah, totally. Basically, totally. big goldback core. So if you can, if you can break that. that core um, with girder. There you go. Stone Edge, Brick Break, GG's trainer. Um, the Charger Bug, Bug Bite Charger Bug. There you go, Bug Bite Charger Bug. Okay. What, what else did we say? Um, I mean, Dragonair is a, a safer one. I mean, oh, you could uh, if you can get some, um, if you can get, uh, you can burn the shields, then Shadow Magneton, core breaks both of them. Yeah, the Shadow Magneton team doesn't look as great. Um, but this uh, this Haunter Celio Hakamo O team looks actually not bad. Yeah. And what, uh, looks very interesting. What does that have to be built to? The rank one's level 39. Jeez. Oh, I don't have a... I don't have, like, a amazing rank one. Like, th- those ones are hard to find, right? Um, it's... You can't be super choosy with some of these new builds, right? No, no. This one's, I think, a pretty high level. I spent a decent amount of dust on it. Let's see what it is. This one is level 39. There you go. All right, we're rating it's a in 10 seconds. 4, 15, seconds. 5. See you later. Bye. Everyone, don't remember Bye. the one simple, or just remember the one simple trick. Get and good. And we're rated. <laughs>